reflected on other shows that have somewhat culty followings is <laughs> are you seeing any similarities or parallels with the actually crazy whatever is going on fans of, uh, in the story of cult to real fans of TV shows? Only one, then it's not in a bad way. We, whenever there's interaction with yeah, fans, the only similarity is that when they first see you, there's 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 a, a double take, and that's the only similarity because every everything else is kind of portrayed in a. In a <laughs> and I can't say that the fans that I've dealt with, I was afraid we're gonna like stab me in the shower. That's probably good. Yeah, I know, right? It was, I was, I, I, I was always on that show, both of those shows, uh, Veronica Mars and uh, Supernatural. Fans kind of considered me one of their buddies more than because, because I was one of, them. I was not as intimidating as um, the two, the, the leads that are really tall. Do you kind of, except for Chris, she's short. <laughs> <laughs> Do you kind of find it helpful, or is it a little bit jarring to know you're going to film the entire, likely going to film the entire season without it actually being seen by an audience yet? I find it to be really awesome because um, you know when you when I like having fans having their say. It is it is nice, but I I also think that it's very important for the creators to to not have an it be interfered. Um, there's already so many cooks in the kitchen. There's already so many people who have to approve every single thing that happens in these scripts. And so to have um, the freedom, at least, of not of, of providing the fans with look at what we've created for you and just come along for the ride, I think that's better for everybody. The fans don't actually have to, I mean, they can have an opinion whether they would do it differently or not, but it just encourages the fans to just give in and just go with it. Do you know what I mean? And trust that the people who created it know a little bit of what they're doing and, and we'll take them on a good ride. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> so far in the season, you're about six in. Is there an episode that's particularly going to deliver a lot of twists to the story that we're... Because this is so mythology-based, but is there any specific episode that just delivers a big bang that people should look forward to? <laughs> there, there's a few. There's a few There's a few episodes. Not necessarily the entire episode, but there's bits and pieces that are little plot twisters. Although this particular episode that I, I personally really, really like because um, just because of the nature of it and the way that it's put together and what it allows us to explore one of the characters and everything. I think it's just a really good episode for, for, for the Sky character and for her relationship with uh, the Jack character. And so I, I just, I like the way things are shot and I like when things are shot kind of weird and things don't always make sense. I like that. This kind so of this episode show. has a lot of this. So this is the show for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, things, things, I, I don't, I don't always like it when things make sense right away.